Number one, recognize you are a sinner unworthy of heaven. This is how you know. This is how you can get saved. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You can pull that up as I go through there, son. I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> there you go. Do you believe that you're a sinner? That's the first thing you need to understand. If you don't admit you're a sinner, I'm sorry, you can't be saved. He came to this world to save sinners. And if you can't admit you're a sinner, you can't be saved. Do you admit it? For all have sinned and come short. You're not good enough. You can't get there. <laughs> Nothing you can do. <laughs> you don't qualify. You're not profitable. You're not saved. You need Christ. The second point is, recognize sin's penalty is death and hell. It's not about changing. Oh, if I just change, I can be saved. If I just go to church, I'll be saved. If I can just get baptized, I'll be saved. If I can just do this, I can be saved. No! There's only one penalty that was ever placed upon sin, and that is death and hell. Yeah. Amen. That how, that's what we have to pay. And the Bible says in Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages, the payment of sin is death. Are you a sinner? Well, then you'll have to die. That's the penalty. It's like going to a courtroom and the judge says, did you commit the offense? Yes, I did. This is the penalty, death. Oh, but I'll try harder. That's not, that's not the penalty. <laughs> oh, but I'll just do this. He says, hey, there's only one sentence for your sin and that is death. Come to reality about that. Death is separation from God forever. That's what death is. It's a separation. The next verse. Or the next point. Believe that Jesus, the Son of God, died for your sin and rose from the grave in victory over death. Do you believe Jesus did that for you? Believe that Jesus, the Son of God, came from heaven just so he could die? Why would he do that? He had it good up there. Why would he take upon the former man just so he could suffer for me? Because he knew that the payment of sin is death. See, Jesus was born to die. He was born to die. That little baby in the manger, oh, he's going to make a big difference. You know how he's going to make a big difference? By dying. And that's what he did. His whole life was focused towards that cross, and he did. It goes on to say, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He showed us. He showed his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I love those two little words, for us. You know what for us means? In my place. If I go wash your car for you, guess what? You don't have to wash your car. You know what? If Jesus dies for you, guess what you don't have to do? Die. <laughs> Cars only. Not only did he just go all together and shall believe in thine heart. Well, why is that? Because then Jesus just went to. That's where the false teachers are. Yeah. Only one has died dying, and then he believe in thine heart. You know what it means to believe in your heart? It's not just, yeah, I, I kind of believe that. You know what it means? I trust it. This is my life. I put everything in that. I sell out to it. It's not adding it to your list of things. I remember going to India and talking to people. And we visited this one man's house and he had pictures all over the walls of gods. He had the elephant god and the monkey god. He now believes in Jesus. He just added Jesus to them. <clears throat> Sorry, you're not saved. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been baptized. You know, I was baptized as a baby. Folks, that doesn't get you any closer to heaven. You got wet as a baby. You can't get saved by baptism. You can't get saved by being put in water. 
How does that wash away your sins? It takes the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ shed for you on the cross of Calvary to take away your sins. But water baptism can't take away your sin. No. Well, I'm a good church member. Sorry. It doesn't bring you any closer to heaven. The wages of sin is death. Death has to be paid. Either you go to the grave and stay there forever, or you receive the gift that Jesus gave in dying in your place. Amen? Receive Jesus as the only way to be saved from hell. The only way. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. Amen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah, May be saved? Shall. Okay. You're lost. And you don't have Jesus Christ as your Savior today. In your heart, right now, the Father in heaven, not this preacher, not this church, but God himself is drawing you in your heart. You know why he's doing that? Because he loves you. And he wants you to be saved. And I would encourage you to receive Jesus tonight. If you're here without Christ, receive Jesus tonight. And make sure you will never go to that place that the rich man is. Let's all bow our heads. If you're here tonight, you don't know Jesus as your Savior. Say, Pastor, I've been religious. Religion will never save you. Religion can't save you because it's not death. The wages of sin is death. It takes a death. Either you're willing to sacrifice your own soul for your sin, or you will receive what Jesus did for you 2,000 years ago. Savior, can I encourage you to ask him. Believe you're a sinner. Believe that you're worthy of the penalty of death, which is hell. Believe that Jesus came as the Son of God and took your place upon the cross of Calvary. And then also to receive, receive what he did for you. And ask him. I'd like you all to bow your head and close your eyes. And if the Lord is drawing your heart tonight, what I'd like you to do is call to him. This is not for me. It's not for this church. It's not for the person next to you. This is for your eternal destination. Say, dear Lord, I believe I'm a sinner worthy of hell because of my sin. I trust that Jesus died for my sin and arose on the third day. I ask you to forgive me of my sin, come into my heart, and save me from hell today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let me encourage you, if you just prayed that prayer from your heart because you knew the Lord was telling you to get saved, I would like to know that. I would really like to start praying for you there's one like that, and you say, I prayed that prayer, preacher. I received Jesus today, and I meant it from my heart. And if there's one like that, can you just slip up your hand real quick and put it back down just so I can see it? I'm the only one looking. Is that you? Oh, my friend, if you're not saved today, please don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until it's too late. Turn to Christ. Turn to Christ. And if you have more questions, please come to me and talk about that. Christian, you do your part in helping people understand the gospel. Children, will you pray for your parents, pray for your grandparents? Maybe there's somebody right now the Lord is laying on your heart and he's saying, would you pray for this person because I want them to be saved. And it's someone close to you. And tonight you're going to commit 
to the salvation of that soul.